What's going on guys? Today is another beautiful day here at the 459. I will be your breaker S10. What's going on guys? How are we doing today? The sun is shining. I'm well rested. I got uh, I got JK here with me. Dougie's not in just yet. We have uh, Chris, J5, Mark. Hello. How are we doing? I got five of you here. Who's here? First person said, what up, S10? Gets... Something. What are we going to give away? Hmm. Hmm. Five dollars? I was thinking hmm. that. Five bucks. Hmm. We were on the same day. It was ten to Community chest pull. Tom O'Connor getting a community chest pull. That's for you, Tom. Good luck, brother. What do we got? We got a two. We got a two. One and two. Tom O'Connor taking home a 12 of 50 orange Denzel Mims rookie card. That's for you, Tom O'Connor. Dude, I am low on everything. All right. JK. What's up, Mark? <laughs> JK, I need penny sleeves and card saver ones. Here. Here are my boxes. Fill them up. <laughs> Appreciate you, Tom. Guys, we have some. Uh, I have a mystery briefcase that I have to give away from yesterday. So, uh, before we do that, let's go over our promos. <clears throat> guys, we are kicking off the show with 10 on the dip meter. We got a 10 on the dippage, guys. We have our 25 out of 1,000 VB briefcases, guys. Check it out. First place is a 5,000 count monster box with a 61 tops Maze MVP, 60 tops Shindin, 61 tops Larson, 62 tops Batting Leaders with K-Line, 64 tops Fox, 61 tops Gibson, and uh, sorry, 64 tops, no, 71 tops Gibson, and a 73 tops Hunter. Guys, those are the highlights in the 5K monster box. We have a $1,000 break credit, guys, 86 player basketball set spot. We have a 95 Super Bowl ticket with Jerry Rice Auto on it, PSA DNA. We have a 2019 Panini Prism Basketball Retail Box Spot. We got 2020 Chronicles Football Pack. And we have a bunch of gaggles and other spots for you guys. Those are 25 at 1,000 briefcases, guys. Next, we have a 15 and 100. 15 and 100, everybody's getting a prize. It just has to close by 4 p.m., guys. That's when we're switching over to Layton's Loft. As long as it closes by 4 p.m., everyone's getting a prize. Uh, first place is a 2018 Topps Chrome Sapphire Box Spot. Second place is a 1999 Fleer Skybox Metal Baseball Box Spot. Third is a 500 High Roar. Fourth is a 250 Bonus Spot. Fifth is an After Party Spot. Sixth through tenth is a 62 Set Spot. And 11 through... 15th is a 73 set spot guys and if this closes we're going to do a second random for a $1,000 briefcase guys that is our 1500 just has to close by 4 p.m. we have a $10 bonus a $50 bonus a $150 we have a $10 bonus a $3 bonus an after party we have a $250 bonus and a $500 high Roller guys, that is our dip meter. We had a whopping 10 to start the show. Thank you, JK. You're welcome. Alright, JK, next thing you medium bags. Sir. I need bags. They look like these. 
only uh, slightly larger. Gotcha. All right. Let's see here. Mystery briefcase. All right, guys. This is yesterday's mystery briefcase. Good luck. We got a f seven. Cool. Five, six, seven. Yep. Two. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Rob Alt. Rob Alt won the mystery briefcase. Congrats, Rob Alt. All right, Rob Alt, do you want to see them one more time? Yeah. They're these, but bigger. No, so yeah, these are those. I need the bigger ones. Okay. Yeah, you need the bigger ones. Rob Alt, the highlight of the mystery briefcase was this 2018 Donruss Optic Baseball Blaster. Let's see what else J5 packed in here for you. All right, we got a lot of goodies in here. Let's see, we got... We got 62 era leaders with Warren Spawn on it. Okay. We got 60 World Series forward pitches second shutout. We have a Roger Clemens, Phil Necro, and a Johnny Bench. Okay. We got some more. It uh, looks like these are football cards over here. We got Jim Doran, Ken Cons. We got Gordy Sultan. Uh, Paul Larson, we got Paul Miller, we got Billy Svoboda, we got Leo Sanford, we got Jim Paulton, Billy Wilson, and we got Ray Kraus. Okay. We have, looks like some Black Border Beauties. We have batting leaders with Rico Cardi, Joe Torre. Uh, we got Clarence Gaston, Oscar Gamble, Charlie Brickman, Tom Dukes. Okay. Okay. Got a gaggle of Blackboard Beauties. Looks like we have a 2020. We got Project 2020 card. Let's check that out. Oh, Ooh. we got a Clemente t Project 2020. I like that. That looks hot. We have some packs for you. Check out these packs. Boom, boom, boom. We have a, I believe this is a matchbook. This is a Larry French matchbook. And we have a signed photo in here. Uh, looks like this is David Adams authenticated. Bernie Parant signed photo for you, Rob Alt. It's a nice mystery briefcase, brother. All right. Chris, do you want to take the uh, mystery briefcase? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I didn't write his name on it, but that's for Rob Alt. Thank you. All right, guys. And without further ado... Time to jump into the breakage. How is everyone doing today? Does anyone have any plans today besides Layton's Loft and VB? Any plans for the upcoming weekend? You guys know next week we go down to Valley Forge.
Yeah, sounds good, Jeremy. Not sure when we're actually going to break that, though, brother. Could be today. Could be tomorrow. Could be next week. I don't even know if we have that box in, uh, in stock. What's up, Paul Kangas? Nah, Jeremy, this is in 2013 Bowman Draft. This is like, you know, some other box. Come on, man. You got to keep up, Jeremy. You got to keep up. What's up? How are you, Paul Kangas? Uh, but I can ask Layton about that box for you, Jeremy. You level up. He gets half the amount because he needed help. Thank you. Oh, there was one box tucked away on the dock. Uh huh? Hey, he gets 700, you get 300. That's not half. I don't think you know what half means, Samuel. Oh no, I gave him a bonus because it wasn't his quest to begin with. I was that strange child. Yeah. <laughs> this, was, this was rigged from the beginning. Uh yeah, that's a that's a Dougie that's a Dougie thing, Paul. If Dougie hasn't updated the calendar, uh you know, I can yell at him when he comes in. All right, who am I looking for in 2013? Baseball. I come on, it was basketball. Aaron Judge, cool. Will Myers. Oh, uh, what's the offline right now? It's time. Uh, great question. So the offline is a twenty. Sorry, it's a forty. It's a forty at twenty-five. Okay. Forty at twenty-five. Um. Has to close by. Has to close by three. One person is gonna win a thousand dollar briefcase. You have Crawford, Colin, Morin, we got Jose Fernandez, we have Xander Bogertz, Josh Hart, you can email me Paul, I, you know, me and Johnny are the only managers in the office brother, and John Jonah Heim. Any Lou Gehrig Day specials? Like, I, oh man. For the first person, <laughs> Lou Gehrig Day. Oh my gosh, Paul. Oh my gosh. Alec Grozier. Nick Cufo. Alex Murphy. Max Freed. We have Jared Wilson, Caleb Kellogg, and Denton Keese. Do you think the Kellogg guy is related to Probably not. No one's related to Cole. No one's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, my cousin is married to Derek Jeter's cousin, so you know I got that. But not Derek Jeter. Yeah. No. Jeter. But you know. No. <laughs> Look, it's the closest thing you're getting today, Mark. <laughs> That's like saying my dad knew an actor when they were kids. 
My dad has met a bunch of famous actors. No. Garrett Gordon. Okay, I completely forgot you were in the chat. I thought it was a completely Tylen different Tyler Austin, Jordan <laughs> Ventura, <laughs> Jock Peterson, Joel Arimez, Henry something, Connor Green. Wait, 2013? Yeah. I was told judge. Jeremy Service said judge. Judge, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. So. Pack four. Por qué? Okay. Nah, we're good. We're good, Craig Casper. We know how to handle cards, man. We're not. We're not amateurs, Travis. Up. We have Nathan Carnes, rookie. We have Jose Fernandez, rookie. Oscar Tavares. Michael Wacha, rookie. Dominic Smith. What's up, Seth? Pack five, Jeremy Service. We have Ian Stifler. Casey Mize, Tom Wendell, Nolan Arnado, rookie. Jason Kanzler, Brandon Easton, and we got Colin Morin. Seth, I'm doing great, brother. How are you, my friend? It has been a hot minute, Seth. Great pull with the Arnado. Nice. We're on a judge hunt, brother. We have Ian Clarkin, Tim Anderson. Good to hear, my brother. Andrew Jones. Sean Townsley. Joel Efforts. Javier Baez. Ryan McMahon. Yep, Jeremy, I'll circle back to it, my brother. Addison Russell. Trey Arbert. Aaron Sanchez. We have Sappington Breakout. Blake Higgins. John Costa. Miguel Sano. My pleasure, brother. Guys, 32 spots left in our 40 at 25. After this bad boy, uh, we are going to move to a 20 at 50. So if you want to get in at the $25 price point, now is your opportunity. Joseph Autumn, Albert Almar, Colton Wong. We got Jordan Austin. We got Drake Britton rookie. Oh, hello, Kristen Yelich rookie. Love it. Love the Elich. We got Yasir Quig. Rookie. Nine. Pack nine. Luis Guillaume, Tyler Skaggs, Sean Nolan, Jed Yorko, we have a die cut jury, sixty five of ninety nine.
Brad Miller rookie. Pack ten. Danny Salazar rookie. Alan Webster rookie. Tyler Wade. Cord Sandberg. Batista Kinley and Cowart. Caleb Cowart. J.P. Crawford, Reese McGuire, Noah Syndergaard, Tyler Brosey, Sean Hurley, Hiram Formo, and Matisse Barnes. Pack 12. Sonny Gray rookie. Corey Cabell, Aaron Blair. We have a expired redemption. This is pack 12. Lenny Pip. Uh, Lenny, this is your Jonathan Gray Bowman Chrome Prospect Auto. So uh, per our VB policy, Lenny Pip, uh, we're gonna send you a twenty-five dollar break card, brother, because um, we know you know how much it it stinks to get uh, an expired um, redemption. But I would, uh, we're gonna mail this to you anyway, Lenny. I would reach out to them, man. You might be able to get something from them as well. Uh, it's this is just a little policy that uh, Leighton started to make sure you know you guys um, enjoy your breaks. Um, and it's because we, you know, we feel for you when we get an expired redemption. So, JK. Already on it. Thank you. Make sure Lenny Pip gets a $25 break credit. Justin Williams, David Dahl, and CJ Cron. You said 25, correct? Yes. 13, Matthew Townsend. Austin Wilson, Kevin Franklin, Oscar Mercado, Addison Russell, 197 to 500, Alan Hansen, Mike Kickham, rookie, Didi Gregorios, rookie, Fourteen. Chad Christensen, Jane Hernandez, Ian McKinney, Taylor Guerrero, Tim Anderson. What's up, Richard Charles? Grant Green, rookie. Fifteen. Adam Westmoreland, Mason Williams. Jesse Biddle, we got Matt McGill, Brian Hudson, 
Adam Ledecker, huge in Ryu Ricky. Uh, Richard, we're looking for Aaron Judge. That's 15. Sixteen. Gary Sanchez. Jackie Bradley Jr. Keen Wong. Will Morris. We got Jake Stone. Jameson Tallin. And we got Billy McKinney. Sir, seventeen Robert Lona Patrick Murphy Hunter Harvey Hunter Green. We have Austin Meadows Billy Hamilton Chris Bostwick. And Andrew Knapp. Courtney Hawkins. Hunter Renfro. Jonathan Crawford. Drew Ward. Tyler Vale, Steve Negron, Chris Rivera. Spot nineteen. Mark Montgomery, Miles Williams, Kendall Coleman, Marco Gonzalez. What offer should we have right now, Sammy? Ask Ask Jacob. <clears throat> we have one right now is a forty at twenty five for a one k briefcase. Yeah, how much time is left on that? Twenty five minutes. Well, guess what? What? I'm gonna do. This is gonna be called the Umbrella ten dollar flash bonus. The ten dollar umbrella flash bonus. Okay. For a Resident Evil sweater, people wear. Every ten dollars. It's a t-shirt. It's a t-shirt. It's uh, a t-shirt. Uh, it's for twenty minutes only, JK. From two thirty-seven to two fifty-seven. Every ten dollars you spend at checkout gets your entry. Top three will get prizes. First place is gonna get a uh, two thousand and two. Tops baseball complete set factory sealed for you, I'm you holding to cards. Hold. You're leaning it on me. I'm holding cards. Yes. Okay, we'll stop holding it. Here you go. That's first place. 2002 factory sealed tops baseball complete set. Second place, we'll get a 1957 football separate spot. Third place, we'll get an after party spot. So, top three will get prizes. It's for $10 at checkout. And it's only for 20 minutes. JK, do your thing. Make sure you put that in the chat. 2002 tops, factory suits, baseball. Second place was 1957. Second place is a 57 tops football. Nick Franklin rookie. And third place gets an after party. Tom Wendell. Alex Coleman, Ricky. Twenty one. Johnny Helweg. Jake Sweeney, Gary Sanchez, Mike Zuning rookie. 
We got Joseph Monge. Riley Ungro. Twenty-two. Jared Kosar, Erky. Trey Ball, John Denny, insert. Gregory Polanco, Matt Southard, and Trey Williams. Twenty-three. Ian. Larkin, Matt Drozier, John Keller, Gabe Spire, Nick Castellos, Castellanos. No, sir. I think we hit everyone else except uh, Judge. I have faith in you. Garrett Cole, rookie. So the Suns beat the Lakers last night. Oh, speak of the devil. Aaron Judge, See? last pack. I come here, and it comes... This is magic, Sam. It's magic. It doesn't have the rookie logo, though. I think it's just perfect. Do you think he got called up later this year? That's probably right. So the Suns beat the Lakers last night. Oh yeah, three two. Like a blow dude, whooping. it wasn't even close. Was I need, I, I want the Suns to just decimate them. And if they win, they get to play the winner of the Clippers. <laughs> it's probably gonna be Clippers. We got Brandon Easton. Finally hitting that judge. Willie Medina, Kyle Cork, Jonathan Singleton. In the last pack, man. All right. And Jeremy wanted me to card saver. Something in the front. My pleasure, brother. No, not that one. So I know we were talking about it the other day, but have you seen the logo for the Seattle Kraken? Yeah, it's tentacles. Yeah, okay. Around uh, an anchor. They also have the, it's the tentacles, not shape of an ass. Yeah, for Seattle. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. It's super cool. Uh, no, not that one. Pack five. Or, you like him too now? Heck you yeah. you said the name the other day and, and I was kind of about it and then I just looked up the logos and I was like I'm I'm a Seattle Kraken fan just because of this logo. Oh <laughs> yeah. Mm, it's a sexy logo. <laughs> so JK, so if we have a ten dollar bonus running, why don't we get a level two trigger question and the winner will get a ten dollar break credit. Okay. And it could jump in on a ten dollar bonus. <clears throat> I like how everything just comes together. I didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. What was the first toy to be advertised on television? Mr. Potato Head. We we've asked this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. You look so disappointed. I do. Uh, Lily, uh, yeah, we already answered it. I didn't know that. Lily already asked it. Maybe you should keep up with other people in the office. You know, ask them the questions they've asked already. Why don't you use a different website? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
This is a different website. I'm, I've not used this one before. But Lily has. I'm sorry I'm not creepy about what our coworkers do, Sam. Oh. Scroll down to one you haven't clicked on. Uh, I want to use. Here's the other thing: is there's a bunch of us who use this computer. So. Yeah, do do that one. This one. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! What did someone say? He said the judge just tossed the question out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. That's kind of interesting. I actually like horseshoes. All right, how many feet separate the stakes in a game of horseshoe? No. Oh, I know the answer. Yeah. How many feet separate the stakes in a game of horseshoes? Pick me, coach. Nick Mariachi has an answer for you. No. No. God. Uh, Jer- Ryan Ryan steals golf weekly, right? At forty. Yeah. I, yeah. No. I like. I had. 100. Did he? Is yeah, he? He's correct. It. Say it louder. All right. From your chest. Ryan Steele yeah, with forty okay. feet. Ryan Steele, you got it, brother. If you say golf quickly, we can we can reply. Yeah, Ryan Steele. Yeah. Why didn't you say it like he was screaming earlier? Yeah, I know. I had like three names pop into my head, one right after the other. But with Ryan Steele, huh? Like yell goal, but with Ryan Steele. Ryan (laughs) Steele. There you go. (laughs) Ryan Steele, you get a ten dollar break credit, brother. And a goal yell. (laughs) (laughs) Are you happy with yourself? Can you see my face? I'm smiling. I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> You're a cheater. Yes. Yes, I am. I don't have to smile. So underneath this, I'm also. He said, thank you, John. You're not gonna say you're welcome? JK lacks manners. It's not that. I'm trying to focus. You're very welcome. On your lack of manners? Oh my God. God. Why are you guys doing this? <laughs> because you're sitting in the Bermuda Triangle right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what happens in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle? You get lost. Yeah. Or both. You get, um, roasted. Or roasted. Or you get you know. 2020 historical artifacts, POTUS blaster. Good luck. How are we looking on that 40 at 25 that has to close by 3? Oh, who got that 10 on Ryan Steele. Ryan Steele. Oh, did you tell Ryan that that TV was his? Ryan, that TV, yeah, for that hit round, that was yours, buddy. That was my fault. I forgot to put your name in there. We, we kind of discussed it during the hit random. Listen, I am taking four responses. We, we still have... Uh, 32 spots open. 32 spots? Okay. I apologize formally. Formally, I apologize. So we have no entries in the $10 bonus? No. Cool. No, cool. 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 Okay. Cool. Ryan Steele, feel free to roast him. Feel free. Not you. Not yeah. Not everything's about you, J.K. No. He loves to be the center of the universe. Uh, you're like a second or third moon for me, don't worry. Or, yeah, I haven't decided yet. Yeah, at least I'm closer to the center of your universe. Right now we're in a trapezoid. Mark, where, where am I in your universe? So Sam said I'm the second or third moon. It's like a pentagon? No. But like, more like a shape. Nan Britton. <laughs> 1 at 57 of 299. Maybe 
think I think being the asteroid is. I think being Pluto's actually a down here. <laughs> Why you have a name now? Two forty six ninety nine. Edith Wilson. <laughs> oh, so they were saying how he just likes to be the center of the universe, and she was like, "You're not the center. You're an asteroid out on the outskirts." And, and then Sam was like, "You're like the second or third moon to the center of my universe." So I was just curious where do I fall when your universe part. <laughs> That's a voted question. You don't have to be nice. <laughs> you don't have she to. She wasn't nice. nice. She started it off being very mean. <laughs> William McKinney, 202 of 299. Make sure your hopes aren't too high. Oh, they're not. They're not. I feel like the first three planets. Oh, okay. That's that's not me, though. That's nice. Like, you could be honest. You could be like, you know, you're oh. slowly drifting towards a black hole from all the... Uh, the huh, shit. I put him closer, huh? I might have to rework my answer. Yeah. I said, I said maybe, the first maybe three planets. I know. You Prayer, like, you know, he's he's the but if he is, if he is the center and he has the moon, the moon is closer. To yeah, that matters. Two eleven, two ninety nine. Closer to him. I put you like first three, the first three planets. Yeah, you could like. So I'm like Earth, 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 no, I'm just saying I'm Earth. You guys sustain the life of your uh, your friend, this friendship. Oh, God. Um, I feel like no, because a lot of times he wants to, like, Mark. not walk you in the park, so. Bork, bork. <laughs> no, oh. oh I don't know what's happening over there. <laughs> I've given up on understanding. Uh, I never know what's going on hit, in that part Hit of me it. with some, some, something else, anything else. Opening Japan to trade. You know what? NASA established. Kennedy, Lincoln, Tyler, Louisiana Purchase, what? Nan Britton, Frank Pierce. Well, with Sam at this time, we should talk to us, talk about the game he's playing. <laughs> the game of life? It's Alaska. Uh, no, not something I feel like it would be interesting. Unless they're interested in Dungeons and Dragons, but I don't think so. Yeah. Clayton, Bull Treaty, James Monroe, Eisenhower, oh. Strike, Harrison, General yeah. Scandal, yeah. Fillmore, McKinley. We have Pendleton Civil Service Act, youngest president, James Madison, Franklin Roosevelt, Rutherford B. Hayes, Ward, Slave Trade Act of 1794, uh, Library of Congress, James Bunchman, Benjamin Harrison. Come on, let's get a printing plate. Let's get a piece of Abraham Lincoln's beard. Just a piece. They have hair hair stuff in here. D <laughs> DNA certified. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. It's old, it can't hurt you. Oh my god. We got 1877, Spanish American War, almost shot by the Secret Service. First president photograph, James Garfield, Ferdinand, Ward, Warren Harding, Silent Cow. First president to be born in the United States and Truman Doctrine. You have any cool, like, trivia about the president of the United States that you make it? I met Joe Biden. That's not trivia. You're yeah, making a statement. Though. That's an anecdote. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't... The, the answer to your question is no. I just, I just have statements. Yeah. See, um, the question was that... And the question was fine trivia. No, no, I was just asking if you had trivia. Lincoln, Tyler, six-star general. Well, you see, trivia are just facts about the presidents, right? No. So when Joe Biden was the <laughs> vice president of the country, he had the honor of shaking my hand. Oh. Tri <laughs> trivia <laughs> is a question. Yes. Uh, 
Did you know that today, Babe Ruth officially retired? Really? From baseball. In wow. 1935. <laughs> I was just saying, like, I thought... You know, it's a good thing you said the year, because I was about to make a really bad joke. Um, so, 1935, June 2nd, um, is when he retired. Like, that so, He's been dead for how many years? to celebrate his retirement, congrats to Beirut. We're going to have... How are we going to do this? I don't know. How many YouTube likes do we have right now? How many YouTube likes? Yeah. yeah. I yeah, will check. Yeah, I'm gonna. Four. I'm gonna guess. Okay, there you go. Four. How many? Let me refresh it again. Four. How many people are watching? Twelve. 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 Um, okay. Well, we now have seven likes. People oh. are already liking it because you said likes. Well, we don't have enough because we actually need more than thirty-five people. Okay. Um. So let's do this. John. To add to the ten hour bonus, which we have, how many time? How much time left? Two minutes. Two. <laughs> we'll how many entries do you have? Fifteen. We'll give it to three o'clock. For every okay. t everybody who's in it already, you're mm -hmm. qualified. But anybody else who spends ten dollars at checkout, we're gonna add a thirty five dollar break credit to first place. Oh, for Babe Ruth. Yeah, he retired in nineteen thirty five. Right, right, right. So thirty five dollars to first place, along with the two thousand and two Tops Factory Sealed Baseball Set. Very cool. So anybody who's in already, you guys are qualified. Don't worry. But anybody else wants to jump in, spend ten dollars at checkout. Yes. And you'll have a chance to. Win. Nick Mariachi said Boston Braves. Boston Braves. That's what he said. Great. Just letting you know. Just filling you in. Boston. I know you can't read the chat, so I thought I'd help. Thanks, buddy. No problem. You want to jump on for a second? Okay, so that's at 3 o'clock. Yep. You want to jump on for a second? He's a running. What's up, folks? Did you answer Tom O'Connor's question? Oh, what was the team Ruth was with when he retired? And was that Nick Montage's answer, Boston Braves? It, Boston Braves was like before that. Mm -hmm. It up, might have Tom? Just been due to lag what time they came through, but I don't know. It could be, possibly. What's up, Bo? All right. That is continual. That is continual with the breaks. So guys, if you spend ten dollars to check out, you're going to get in on this flash. I am extending it until three o'clock. So JK, anybody who purchases at least ten dollars to check out gets an entry. If you spend fifty, you get five entries, so on and so on. And the top three are gonna get prices. First place is gonna get a two thousand and two Tops Baseball Factory Seal set with a $35 break credit. That was the year that Babe Ruth retired. And second place, we get a free spot in the 57 Toss Football set break. Third place, we get an after party spot. All that for just 10 bucks. What's up, Richard Charles? What's going on, man? All right, 1982, nope, 86. Donruss, pack 33. You know what? 86 was a good year. Did you figure out what team it was, Mark? Yeah. He was, uh, so Boston Braves was the answer, and he played Jeopardy with it. Oh, okay. He was like, what was the team Ruth was with when he retired? All right. This is right. 86 Don Rush Baseball Wax Pack number 33. 33. Oh. Nick Mateo actually jumped in. Nice, Nick. Where's, uh... My dice. Here we go. Good luck. 86 Donruss Baseball. Five on the random. One, two, three, four, and five. There's my list. Let's hit break. 
All right, Dean Balle, right here in the front. Good luck. Asics was a good year. You know why, JK? Why? That was the year I landed in New Jersey. What year? From 1986. Where? From uh, Peru. Where? I flew with my mom. And flew from the capital of Peru, Lima, Peru, and then landed in New Jersey in Perth Amboy in 1986. And I was raised there the entire time. Yeah, I never moved from there. <laughs> I literally stayed in Perth Amboy the whole time. Yeah, pretty much. What's up, red light? It's the red light special. Jerry Mumphrey for Dean Baller. Spot two, Dave Engel. For the twins. Spot three, Von Hayes. Von Hayes. Spot four. Good old Roger Clemens, the Rockets. It's a second year, second year Roger. All right, JK, they have 30, they have 20 seconds to meet their last purchase. Last call on that Tell Flash, guys. Here's Billy Bean. Billy Bean. That's not familiar. Is that the guy from Moneyball? It sounds like. Billy Bean. You it see, does sound like the guy from Moneyball. Right? You see Moneyball, right? Very familiar, yeah. Is that him? Maybe. Penny cities are way overpriced. I, I can agree <laughs> with you with that. What's up, Bo? Uh, JK, did Bo make it? No more, no less. Uh, I forgot oh. his. Let me see. A uh, Bonilla. Yes! You just made it, Steven. Steve Amonia, JK. Tom can confirm that that guy is the name from Flying Bar. Four. Mm. Yeah. Of. Sure. Billy Bean. Yes, it is the guy. Yes, that's him. Nice. This is him, Billy Bean. Good memory, John. Awesome. William Lamar Bean. William Lamar Bean. Yeah, this is his second year in the Mets. Home in Sinaitis, California. Or Encanitas. How do you say this? Lamar. His hometown. Billy Bean. Moneyball, baby. Great movie, by the way. Bruce Hurst. Spot 7. Tom Browning. Uh, Daniel H says there was two Billy Beans at the same time. The Moneyball guy was one, and the first out, and the first out gate player was the other. Oh, I the did not know that. Gate player. Huh. You know what? That's that's well time for Pride Month, huh? There you go, Pride Month to uh, this month, guys. Dennis Powell. Speaking of Pride Month, please support me in J Five. <laughs> I'm sorry? So please support you and I. How are they going to support? <laughs> I don't know. Coffee. 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 Mark Sullivan, Red Sox. Rainbow Creamer. <laughs> Fat Bosley. Fat Bosley for the Cubbies. 11. Larry you know, like Sheets. The briefcase exploded. I'm sorry. How, many, how many were? 15. Larry Sheets. Ask in the chat if there's any interest in closing it. Okay. If you can get enough people, you can hold it. What's that, $25 again? Yeah. Alright, guys. This is the cheapest it's going to be all day. This is the cheapest entry for a briefcase today. We don't want any briefcase bonus to explode. JK, how many spots left? Uh, 15 spots. 15. I'm bad at math. So what's that? If one person wants to check out and get all those... What would they have to spend at checkout? JK is also bad at math, so you're barking up the There's correct a tree. There's a calculator right there. No, 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 he's barking up the right tree. Daryl Motley. I'm, I'm usually not bad at math. It's just... Is it 15 times 25? Yeah. It's 375. 375. If someone spends 375 at checkout, they will close that bonus. 
Thanks, Nick. See, Nick got it. He was quick at the trigger there. Cecil Cooper, spot 14. Nick is good. Yes, unlike myself. Mm -hmm. You're just not good at multiple prediction. Frank Depino at 15. There you go, guys. <laughs> that is your 86 down row baseball pack. I know, but that's number 33 in the books. What's one plus one? Because then I'm going to take the one and pass it in the first one. It's 11. It's 11. JK, you move that list. The Taylor Flash. Awesome. Got 11. Oh, I closed out everything that was open when I first oh, sat down, so that way I could just open up what I needed. I had everything open on this one computer. You could just use everything that I was having through. Yeah. The, the item is right there. So you need to get is right here. Okay. So you don't have to search. Alright, guys, let's go ahead and randomize that list for the $10 flash. JK. Hmm. Can I get that um that 2002 box that's next to you? Thank you, sir. Wasn't that funny? Yeah. I'm just getting on. Didn't know about the briefcase bonus. Well, I was three dollars short. I can't buy a three dollar pack to qualify. Jeremy. 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 Wait, say what, Jeremy Stutes? Ah, yes, you could run up Jeremy. So that's what, 13 spots? JK? He's doing math, bro. Give him time. Jeremy, we're going to run you up anyway, bro. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Lynch just wants to send another shout out about how awesome VB shipping has been lately. Thanks, Daniel. That is all to the uh, hard work of Miss Kristen. <laughs> She's so humble. She doesn't say, <laughs> look at her. She's so humble. I'm the best. There you go. Very humble. Very humble. Very yeah, humble. You know, the most so humble. Somebody has to be. She learned that from me, guys. Yes. She, she, oh, she learned that. Yep. She I learned that see, from me. Yeah. We just confer over here. Yep. yep. When do you get your, uh, your big football helmet? When am I going to start opening the garage door for you tomorrow? <laughs> no, I... My friends are mean to me, so I am very humble. <laughs> you mean, you appear humble. I head, but I will come back with a small one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ten dollar bonus. Good luck, guys. Top three get prizes. JK, how many spots left with running up Jeremy Stutes? Thirteen? Uh, I had already had Jeremy... In there. Oh, you did. They had spent twenty-two and a half, so I just. J.K. Down. I already did that for you, Jeremy, because he so, is awesome. Yeah. You can thank the beard. <laughs> um. So even even with uh, him in there, it was still that so, was the oh, 15, so Yeah, it was still the fifteen spot. All right. Tam, S ten. Poppy, big Poppy. What you want to? How many spots? Right? Fifteen. That's three hundred and seventy-five dollars. No, what time is it? Three o'clock. 3.08. I've been yep yapping, yapping for eight minutes. Three fifteen, absolute cutoff. All right, guys, we're gonna send it to three fifteen. That's it, JK. Keep the list hanging. We're gonna send it to three fifteen. Anybody who spends twenty five dollars to check out gets in. We need fourteen spots to give out a one thousand dollar briefcase. Fifteen. Sorry, fifteen spots. Fifteen spots. Oh, I was thinking of running up Germans too. So that's why. But you already did. Nine. Nine on the random. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And the top three at nine are. Right there. We got Ryan Steele in first place, Jeremy Stutz in second, and Stefan Bonilla in third. Gentlemen, Ryan Steele 
This 2002 Topps Baseball Complete Set Factory Sealed is yours along with a $35 break credit. JK will take care of you. Ryan Steele, you are good, buddy. That is yours. Second place, Jeremy Stutes gets a free spot in our 1957 Tops football set break. And Steven Bonilla, you get a free spot in our after party bonus that ends on June 13th. Let me just check my calendar. Yes, 13 at the Philly show. We're going to end the show at 2 o'clock. Uh, we'll randomize that list. And then the top three get prizes. So uh, that is your update on the 40 to 25, guys. We're not trying to let this one explode. We want somebody to win a briefcase for this cheap of a buy-in at $25. All right. JK is going to take care of the prizes. JK, don't forget, Ryan Steele gets a $35 break credit. All right, my time is done. A new dealer coming in. New dealer. Okay, leave it right there. Get that shoe in the floor. I was gonna like high five you. Uh, high five. Go up back in the back, and then the front. Yes, give me that. Two thousand two. All right. What's up, Bo? Johnny, you know how much I like bothering you, right? It's my second favorite thing to do. First, hanging out with Mark. So, uh, I only have about five breaks left in the shoot. I don't know if there's more to prep. We need to run a closeout. But, I'd love to know. Awesome. Thank you. Guys, if there's one movie I had to watch this weekend Quiet Place 2. to talk to you guys about on Monday, A Quiet Place 2. what movie would that be? A Quiet Place 2. John said A Quiet Place 2. And you don't have to talk cool much because it's a very quiet movie. What? What movie do I have to watch this weekend? I'll watch anything. Cruella de Bill. But only one movie. Criola. Right? Criola. One movie. Is that her name? No. I'll kill you. I'd love to learn how to <laughs> the the crayon lady. I'll Cruella. kill the both of you. <laughs> yeah, she's got a she she's got a white coat and she used black crayon to put spots on it. You yeah. rolled that to me. Dalmatians. If you tell me that's your favorite Disney movie, we're gonna have a problem. All Disney movies are my favorite. I love Disney. I'm obsessed. It's an See, issue. Cruella <laughs> Cruella DeVille. Crayola DeVille. Cruella DeVille. You're saying the name wrong. If she doesn't scare you. No Mayor of Easttown on HBO. It's a solid series. How? Hmm. Ryan, are they hour long episodes? 30 minute episodes? What is that? He said Mayor of Easttown on HBO. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Is it. I, I haven't seen it yet. So we Does don't... that mean, like, I think horse of East Town? Huh? That's an hour long. Maybe. Oh, it's spelled oh, mare, mare like a horse. Yeah, it's spelled Titan. mare. Titan. I've already seen that, Richard Charles. Come on. Yeah. Hey, JK, do me a favor. Stick out your right hand. Put it towards my right monitor. White box under my right monitor. Grab my hair tie. Six 45-minute episodes? That's doable, Ryan. That's doable. 
Thank you. Tell me, baby girl, cause I need to know. Alright, I got one vote for Mayor of East Town, and I got one vote for Quiet Place 2. Already seen Titanic. Anyone else? What's the Titanic? You're dead to me. Alright, yeah, people in the office. Like people in the office, any votes? Um, what was the question? What should I watch this weekend? I've got one vote for Quiet Place 2, one vote for Mayor of East Town. Six episodes, 45 minutes on I, that. I gave you my vote and you shit on Quiet me, Place so. Two because I want to watch Quiet Place Two. Okay, Mark is down for Quiet Place Two, and uh, I left out a detail. Whatever we decide, guys, Mark's gonna watch it with me. So, yeah. uh, can you can you check why I was not in the ten dollar flash? Did I miss the cutoff? Tom O'Connor wants to know why you hate him. <laughs> that's why. That's what he wants to know. He said, "How dare you?" He said, "I thought we were cool, J.K." And uh, this just in, he said he hopes you have a bad time at Disney World. <gasps> He's offended deeply. Oh. Just... I read between the lines. Yeah. You know that show in between the lines? No. Yes. Mm. There you go. I, I, I love reading. You know? mm. Let me see, Tom. Uh, while I wait for JK, JK's starting to sweat, so while I wait for him to answer. I have another $10 bonus. <laughs> I think he, when did the $10 flash start? He was he was in it. I looks like he didn't copy and paste his name. Okay. You're so, so pretty. So do you hate him? I don't hate him. So you're so pretty, JK. <laughs> JK, how are you gonna do? How are you gonna make this up to him? I have a new ten dollar bonus. Okay. <laughs> so not only am I gonna add Tom's entries into that, yeah. so JK, go ahead and put that in. Yes. In his ten dollar bonus. This could be for. Again, every ten dollars you spend at checkout, you will get an entry. I'm gonna try to stick with the ten dollars, a ten, ten, the number ten. Uh huh. Uh huh. Did our briefcase close, by the way? I don't think so. No. All right, it's done. It's it's kaput. Next so, is a twenty at fifty, JK. Okay. So Tom was already in. Tom O'Connor's in. Right? Tom O'Connor gets the first entry in the twenty at fifty as well for pain and suffering. <laughs> Carry his uh, his entry number. Great. It's gonna be ten exhibit cards. Ten. Ten. Okay. First place to get ten exhibits, 1947 through 66 exhibit cards. I believe some of them have checklist backs. Yeah. 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 And those are actually more desirable with a checklist. Checklist backs are more desirable. Yeah. So you want to go through them? Great. Uh, Every you want to give me? I got two Frank. Malcones. Sure. Is this by yeah, design? That one has a checklist. What would the other one? Be? Okay, hold on. I want to keep. The They're checklist. both checklists. One of them is red ink. One of them is black ink. Is I that think that's why I kept it. There. Wait, because they're different inks? They're different variations, yeah. Okay. All right, cool. How did you enjoy Army of the Dead? Ryan Steele, uh, so I saw that over the weekend. Ryan Steele, I had a great time watching Army of the Dead. I, Ryan Steele, play by play, man. Me and Mark are multitasking. We put, Ro we put Army of the Dead on. Yes. About 10 minutes into the movie, we forgot what we were doing and just watched Army of the Dead. So check I out. loved Batista in Army of the it Dead. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. The ten dollar flash. It ends at four o'clock. Ten. So top ten get prizes. Uh, no, that's one person. One person. Okay, ten dollar flash, guys. One person is gonna win all these exhibits. We got uh, Gil McDuglin. Second place is gonna get a thirty five dollar break. Frank Malcone. This is a red ink checklist back. We have uh, dear God. Second place is gonna get thirty. Barney McCasby. And third place is gonna get after party spot. Lindsay McDaniel. We got Frank Malcone. This is a black ink checklist back. We got Hank Majeski. Uh, we got Art something. Uh, we got Ali Kellers, Tex Hudson, and Ken Hupson. Red ink checklist back. Uh, this is a ten dollar flash, guys. Yep. First place gets that whole gaggle. Second place we get thirty five dollars in break credit because of Babe Ruth. And in third place, we get an after party spot. Awesome. JK, put that in the chat. Tom O'Connor, I think I'm an amazing translator. Not only did I get you in the ten dollar, the new ten dollar flash, but I got you into the twenty to fifty for pain and suffering. I think I should represent you more often, Tom O'Connor. Twenty to fifty? What twenty? Huh? Is it twenty to fifty? Yeah, for a briefcase. That started? Yeah, just now. Oh, just now. Because the other one exploded. 
go poof. I hear you say. Yeah, and I giving Tom O'Connor the first spot for pain and suffering. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tom gets the first spot. Ten. How long is the ten dollar flash running? Until four o'clock. Okay. Flash. Ten dollars at checkout. Four p.m. Do you have your phone on you? Yes. I'm just going to text you if you use package. What was second? Uh, $35 from Brickford. Okay. And third. Uh, when's the 20th or 50 ending? Uh, 4 o'clock. <laughs> My pleasure, brother. My pleasure. Okay. I just want to make sure this is big. I just want to, whatever happened, just let me know. Let's see. 1984. Ryan Steele, have you seen Z Nation? I think it was a, it was a sci-fi uh, zombie show, but it's on Netflix. Uh, Z Nation is pretty good. It's got a solid cast. Uh, this is our 84 Tops Football Wax Pack 357. That's a four. One, two, three, and four. Oh, man. Did you ever watch that um, Korean zombie movie called Hashtag Alive? No. I thought you were going to say Train to Busan. That one's really but, good. Yeah, I haven't... Phenomenal. I, this, did we watch that? I think we did, and we all got emotionally connected <laughs> with the, the situation that happened in it near the end. But um, Hashtag Alive is like a zombie outbreak happens. Okay. And this person inside an apartment complex locks himself inside his room. Okay. Wi-Fi is active. Of course. Um, and it's own like not every town has been just, you know destroyed by zombies, but his specific town is just like he's trying to listen to like news stories and stuff, and he gets he he sees a girl on the opposite side of the apartment, and they're trying to like escape. It's really good. Um, I enjoyed watching it. Uh, for, you know, just heads up, there is some dark themes inside the movie. Zombie movie, but dark themes either way. Yeah, I feel like dark themes come with zombie movies. Like, they go hand in hand. Yeah. Is that dumb? Maybe. Uh, Mike Hartenstein. We have U Von Shaman. We have Nolan Cromwell. We have Jacob Green, spot four. Spot five, we got Paul McDoolan, Donald McDonald. We got Zachary Dixon, six. We have Dave Logan, seven. Eight, we got John Riggins. Nine, we got Eugene Marv. What's shaking, Bake? Too much. We got ten, Jan Stenrud. Quick, hey, Doug. Yes. What are we looking for in 84? <laughs> the rookie car that's next. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. That's well, enough. You got it? Yeah, yeah I got yeah, it. Right yeah. Dang. Spot 12, we got Dan Marino Rookie Card. Oh, Spot 12 for Dean Dolphins. Miami Dolphins. Dean Ballray. Dean, I assume you're new because I don't recognize your name. Check out your Marino Rookie Card, Dean. Love it. Pack fresh, sharp corners. 
Check it out, Dean. Congrats, man. Smell Yeah. Spot 13, Doug English. Oh, no, Daniel. He just clocked in. He just walked into the office. I'll be here. 14, we got Mark Gastineau. Gaston U. 15, James Jones. All right. Congrats to Dean. Thank you, guys. Hey, John. I pull, uh, the champ pulled a Marino rookie. Beautiful. We're going to send that on over. Oh, my. Got a lot of stuff going on. I was hoping for 40 play ball tonight. Ah, uh, Daniel, we're doing both tomorrow, man. Yep. Gotta send this in the group chat. It is a nice card. Alright. VB North. Eighty four tops football. Pack three fifty seven. Dan Marino. Pulled by Wait, JK, I have a question. I have an answer. It's a, if it's a 20 at 50. Right. 19 spots. Okay. I was thinking 40. You're right. No. You're right. I know. I know. I, yeah. There's a lot going on over there. I'm tired. Sure. I'm tired and harassed today. Sure, sure. But but I have another question. Yes. Are you off on Friday? Yeah. Yeah, you should be tired. Because I'm going to be home in a couple days. I shouldn't be tired. Yeah, now. did you have off Monday? We all did. here working. <laughs> Liar. Yeah, you should be tired. You guys had me chained to a desk. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Deceiver. Non-believer. I believe your exact words were when I come into the Deception. Day, work or you're dead. Are you a non-believer? Are you a Justin uh -huh. Bieber? I mean, look, you don't know. Maybe there weren't 39 spots. Maybe he added a couple extra spots. <laughs> to a 20 or 50? Yeah, he didn't tell yeah, us. You know, I just added 20 spots, spots like we're in the last spot. Let's go picture in that arena. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, they're really 19, but actually I just added 20 more because I can. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't like you, Jake. <laughs> Do math better. To be fair... I typed 39 Why? left in the 40 at, and then I was like, oh no, and then I backspace, I was like, it's a 20 at 50, and that's all I changed. <laughs> in my defense, I typed out the 40 at 25 fully. If you miss anyone on this next list, I'm taking you outside during the live. <laughs> and you're not coming back inside. <laughs> I promise you no one will be missed. <laughs> There you go, I fixed it. <laughs> Good. I love you, Sam. That's nice. Yeah. Pete, that nice to you. Huh? 81 top football solo pack, 296 glut. 10. You can't fix stupid. Ignorance is not an excuse, Jonathan. All right, good luck, guys.
Well, this is just gross. What? Pat the gum, it like. Did it melt? It, yeah, it's gross. The gum was gross. Steve Mike Mayer, spot one. Spot two, Gary Ellis. <laughs> exactly, Tom. Spot three, we've got Charles White. Curtis Brown. Mike Bragg, five. Spot six, Russell Erkselbin. Spot seven, Gary Johnson. Spot eight, we got Earl Cooper. Hello. Hello. Spot nine. Daryl Ray. Not me, but you know. Harry Cars from Spot Sun. <laughs> Theo Bell, 11. So there's a 20, 50, if my brain is work. Uh, that has one entry and then there's the $10 flash for 25. Wes Chandler, Spot 12. Charles G. What's up, Charles G? How are you, buddy? Thank you, sir. Yes, lover. You have 28 minutes, guys. 28 minutes until the 10 hour flash is over. Mm -hmm. So literally every 10 hours they spend, they'll get an entry, top people get prizes. Mm -hmm. uh, time stamps, very important. I just noticed that JK doesn't put time stamps. You know, you oh, can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. I'm gonna beat him later. He doesn't even drink water. Exactly. He's like a river of Pepsi. So, I love seeing Lily, like, format the monitors. It's like I taught her. Listen, my format was perfect. I want to be clear, you didn't one teach one. her, though. But who taught her? I taught Emma, and well, Emma taught, taught her. her. I taught you. You taught Emma. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. But what happened with JK? It was kind of like... J Nobody I, really taught JK. I let we kind of threw him into the fire. <laughs> I will let you guys... He's a hot mess. So it's our fault. It's our fault. Okay. We're hey, bad you guys, leaders. You guys didn't teach me how to format the thing. They just told me that this is how it goes. I format my own shit. No, I take full credit for you. It's okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my bad. S10 has taught me how to do stuff, and like I fit everything in one one screen. Everything you need to focus on the stuff, and he he just closed everything. Just closed everything after I set it up for him. Yeah, and that's about right. That's about it. He doesn't like me. I'm gonna have to fight. Uh, so later. yeah, we got we got some time left in the uh, ten hour flash. We also have an offline briefcase. Twenty and fifty. Yes. 20 entries. 19 spots on. left. Has to close by 4. Yes. Oh, Holly's here. What's up? Charles, uh, you know, good luck on the plane, brother. Charles. He's leaving for Houston tomorrow. Oh, be safe, Charles. Hope you have a good time. Sell a lot of cards. Tomorrow. Offers will be on tonight. Thank you. Uh -huh. Offers will be on tonight. So fast. VB West. Yes, you will be. Check out VB West, guys. Yep, VB West tonight. Going down. I'm shaming cheaters for that. 
The shaming cheese it's for? Yeah, for their extra cheesy, disgusting cheeses. They're good. Lillian. I'm pro cheesy cheeses. Okay, them. where are they? I Try eat them all. Why did you do that? Because they're good, I understand. No, I enjoyed them. them. <laughs> That's really funny. Nice. Where are those chips of hoist? Okay, okay. Huh? Where are the chips? They're, they were banished. You said to protect you from your diabetes. Yeah, but I, wanted sh I, wanted I threw them out. Some. You threw them out? I was going to share some of the blue. They're gone. They're recent. I burned them in a fire. <sighs> I swear to God, it's somewhere here and it's not taking because it's red. I'm just, I can't. Lily, would you like a peanut butter cookie? Okay. If you okay. pull it out, I have nowhere like a magician. I, I don't know what I'll do. I, I, I was if she said yes, but she said she's okay. So no, they're gone. I'm Forever. Okay. Burned in a fire. All right, Sammy. I am not selling. Just there to look and buy. Nice. All right, Charles. That's okay too, brother. Hey, I don't know, Charles. Maybe you have like a, a suitcase of like high end stuff you're looking to sell, Charles, and you just like you're bringing it with you. I don't know, man. Careful, because she will drop the mind your business, and then your soul is defeated. She did it to me on Friday. I had nothing. I just, I was just like, f me. Because you should have minded your business. Hey Johnny, you know what I have? What? I have thirteen total breaks on the dashboard. Maybe yeah, we should man. do a closeout. He can't. He can't do a closeout. I, 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 he's physically here. I'm sure. I mean, aside from having to do an Instagram post, I mean, yeah, I'm yes. taking care of the bonuses. I'll have W in charge of the closeouts. Okay. So how many closeouts would you like, sir? Well, we only have 20 minutes. Okay. So maybe we should have it run like until like nine. Okay. How, uh, many would you like? how many would I like? I want. 20 to 30 closeouts. Because that's what I could break in a night. I'm fast. Okay. How many, how many closeouts would you like? 20 to 30. Give me 800. 25. 25. 25 is a good. Right in the middle. 25. 25 closeouts. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But there you go. An alternative to peanut butter. In, in, in uh, what's it called, Mitsua, one of my favorite places to go, they sell it there in the ice cream section. It's just... Sometimes, I don't like peanut butter normally, but like black sesame ice cream... Delicious. But you just said these cookies slap. Yeah, and Reese's peanut butter cups are the other exception. Okay, okay, okay. Otherwise, it's inside like not dessert food. Okay. So. Guys, we're working on a closeout promo right now. I think Johnny stepped outside to talk to Elf. Probably. Or he could be talking to his uh, his stylist. You know. No, I'm right here. You're yeah. a stylist. Yeah. You style hair on, uh, on top of doing shit. It's been confirmed. Yes. Oh. I gotta stay on the hustle and grind somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, catch me on Sports Center on street. Oh, please don't, Brian. Please don't. You're gonna show up to the Nationals, and you're gonna be people are gonna be like asking for your autograph. You're gonna be like, yeah, I'm the guy who streaked at the Blue Jays game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Hall Baker, I yeah, saw. I got so yeah, he got fined. <laughs> I should show you the the video of a fan getting trucked by another fan who tried to jump in back into the stands after shrieking on the field. What? Didn't end well. What? So a fan tried to escape back into the stands after he ran onto the field. Uh huh. And then another fan decided just to bolt full on <laughs> tackle this guy. For the police? Wasn't it wasn't a police. No, I'm saying, but he handed him he over. He hand, basically tackled this kid, and then, yeah, he got taken off by the cops. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Last night. Yeah. Ninth inning? Brian, God bless. Paul Baker, do you realize you get caught, you're not allowed back in the stadium ever again? He probably won't be making it to Nationals if he gets caught. Well, no, don't, don't release him. Oh, sure. It's just... Oh, he's coming in hot and heavy. He looks like he's got a purpose. Okay. Hot, 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 hot. Great, nice and loud. Yeah. Okay. So in honor of Pride Month, it's a Pride-related trivia question. Which country holds the record for hosting the largest pride parade in the world? Okay, so which, which country, country holds the record? I feel like it's not the U.S. Okay, so which country holds the record for holding the largest pride parade ever? Okay. Love it, Brian. Todd Schaefer. Todd Schaefer. Brazil. Todd Schaefer. Yeah, that's Brazil. Brazil. Uh, yeah, Lily. He gets a 10-hour break credit. Todd, you could use that for the 10-hour bonus, but we're not we're running flash. 10 hour flash. That's right. It was. It is Brazil. Brian, he's a home run machine. Of course he'll hit one tonight. Right into your cup. Right into your beer cup. Oh my goodness, that would be the best catch. That would get you on Sports Center. Remember that song, yeah. Catching a home run in your beer cup, that will get you on Sports Center. Okay. This is the close up special. That Juggy's keeping track of. Yes, Juggy's keeping track of. Guys, you It's have running to during Layton's off. Okay. You have to write it in the chat if you close anything out from now until 9 o'clock. Now until nine o'clock. We need a total of twenty-five closeouts. We have six hours. Or sorry, a little less than six hours. Top five are going to get prizes. First place is gonna get a one thousand dollar briefcase choice. Second place is going to get a free spot in the nineteen fifty one Bowman set break. Chance to win a Mickey Mantle rookie card. Nice. Third place will get a free spot in the 57 Tops football separate. Nice. Fourth place will get a free spot in the 62 Tops baseball separate. Fifth place will get an after party spot that ends on June 13th at the Philly show. A chance knows. to win $1,500 in break credit. That's next week, guys. That's next week. That's your closeout. That's However, my closeout. Dougie, However, Dougie. I want you to highlight the 10th entry because specifically the 10th entry once we get to 10 you gotta send that list to sam sam's gonna randomize it in first place it's gonna get a 2020 chronicles football fat pack 
So guys, one of the first 10 closeouts is going to get this 2020 Chronicles Football Fat Pack. One of the first 10. So, you might want to get in sooner rather than later and be one of the first 10. Yes. That sounds like a great deal. Okay. However, it ends at 9 p.m. We have to get 25. Please let Dougie or anybody know in the chat. Yep. This way, he can keep track of it. So as soon as we get to 10, I can give this away? Yes. I don't have to wait for the list to close. Perfect. So if you're in the first 10, you're guaranteed... Well, someone is guaranteed a prize. Yes. Awesome. Plus your entries. Plus your entries. Yes. Uh, yes, Lily took care of Todd. Right? Yeah. Todd, look at your dashboard. You have a $10 great credit in there for you. Very good. What's up, Lee? All right, guys. I'm going to pin that in the chat so it's there. So you guys... Well, know. it's going to come down once we sign off in 15 minutes. Right, yeah, add it to your notepad. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was a good theory. <laughs> Stop doing that, Mark. What? <laughs> it's okay. You can beat me. It's okay. Yeah. Look, maybe, maybe, maybe that's a good one. Maybe it's a good one for him. Lily, if you would. Go ahead. Hit him with it. Mind your business? That's right. Mind your business. He was in Mar it was the combo. Oh. The combo had everyone in it. In everyone's eyes. See, I'm gonna bring cookies in again, and you're gonna be like, oh. And you're gonna give me some cookies anyway. But mind your business. That is my business. So I will mind it correctly. Oh, okay. What? Oh, man. The minute you offered me cookies. Yeah, it was all it was. It was our relationship was formed. John Havion, rated rookie for Todd Schaefer. Pete Vukovic. I don't know how to place this object. Very carefully. They're from 60s. Donnie Hill. <laughs> Every time. I don't pick up all day and then I get here. Terry Pohl. Your body's wild. Something in the background. Yeah. Something in the air. I can feel it coming. Kirby Bucket. Oh, no. John Denny. George Bell. All right, Tom O'Connor closed the pack. Thank you, Tom. Brian Harper. We have... Paul Householder. Richard Dotson, when? Tonight? Jizzle starting in six min, lasting for 38 min. Cool. Oh, that's nothing. That's, that's it's so supposed to 80% rain tomorrow, which means 80% of the area is getting rain. Tony Armas. Just thought something. I just thought of something. Lily, you care to be on the show, correct? Yeah. Add Tosh Schaefer to your private list of trivia winners. Mookie private Wilson. List? That sounds exotic. Well, I have a naughty corner. Lily is in a mini corner. So, private list. That's true. John John already marketed John already marketed naughty corner. That belongs to John 5. Yes. So you'll have to pay me. <laughs> oh. She's a college student, so she's not going to Unless she pays for the rights. It's $100. George Orta. That's it. She's like three times a week. Uh, Dougie, closeouts are being put in the chat okay. by the crew. Thank you, guys. Dougie is keeping track of the list, so if there are any discrepancies, you know who to throw fruit at. What's up, Lee? I had a nice white peach earlier today. Oh, oh nice. Hit Love the white spot. Peach. Yeah. I bought it recently. I came home. Mm hmm. And I was like, I don't understand what happened to my peaches. <laughs> I guess they got damaged. I felt like Kramer. <laughs> I wanted to like, go return my fruit. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's back in stock. Very popular. 18 Court Kings Blaster. Love it. And then 11 Bowman Draft Hanger. Alright guys, we can go trout hunting and Luca hunting all on the same night. 
Only here at Vintage Breaks. Guys, don't forget about the 15 and 100, everybody wins a prize. I know it's on the grid, so it's easy to not think about it, but there are nine spots left in that, guys. And if we close it by four, actually, aside from it having to close by four, we do have a briefcase for the second random of that list. So not only is everyone getting a prize, but someone's getting a $1,000 briefcase if we close that 15 and 100. It's on the grid, guys. It was running from two to four. Eighty three tops baseball wax pack two twenty six. Good luck. We got nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Boom. Hey, Mark, I said part in the, uh, our intro for show. What so we do an intro on our calendar. Uh -huh. I started adding you in. So it's, it's the show before the law. So hang out with J5, S Don, Dougie Fresh, and Marky Mark. Oh, thank you. You get to be part of the intro, Mark. I'm Marky Mark now. I mean, so unless we come up with another name for him, he's Marky Mark. Yeah, honestly, the other day when you said Mr. C, like, guys, it's Mrs. C. <laughs> My full name. It's been a plague. It's a plague. <laughs> a plague upon my farmlands. Speaking of plagues and farmlands, I'm playing Solasa tonight. Alright, Ryan Steele. Tom O'Connor, the second ten dollar flash is running until four. So we have eight more minutes with the ten dollar flash. Todd Schaefer, card number one, Larry Milborn. Spot two, we got Tom Seaver. Spot three, Rich Gossage. Spot four, Glenn Wilson. Spot five, Rick Sweet. Spot six, Mick Keller. Spot seven, we got Tom Filer. Lily, how many spots do we have in the ten dollar flash? Forty-five. Thank you, Bud Anderson. Guys, we have forty-five entries in the ten dollar flash so far. If you want in on that, we have until three. I'm uh, sorry, we have until four. We have until four. Spot nine, we have Neil Allen. Spot ten, Willie, Willie Randolph. Did you watch any of the playoff games last night? Or? I saw the Suns. I mean... Honestly, I think they just they get they gave that game. They're like, cause they were done in the second quarter. Like I think just they're like, yeah, we're not winning this game. Just kind of spot eleven, Ted Simmons. Now the Suns just need to rally next game, and it's over. I would be surprised if AD doesn't play, cause that's gonna be in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. It should be tomorrow, unless it's Friday. I'm gonna check right now. Yeah. ESPN. I hope it. I hope it is tomorrow, because like I don't. I don't. You know. I don't wish that any player is hurt, but they should take advantage that he's not playing. Because I know the Nick game is tonight. 
Let me put. But oh man, the, the Nuggets and the. It's tomorrow. Yeah, the Nuggets and the Blazers. Oh, they're going back and forth. Th- that was double overtime last night. That's crazy. Nuggets though. They're up. The Nuggets are up 3 2, so. but the Blazers are putting in. Damian Lillard had 55 points last yeah. night. Yeah. Oh, he was hitting everything last night. Yeah. I know it's unlikely that the Grizzlies win tonight, but it'd be very uh, it'd be very fun. The Grizzlies are tough. Yeah. It'd be very fun if they won tonight. That would be, that'd be good. Uh, Len Sakata, spot 13. Same thing for the Knicks. I know. It, you know, it's a long shot, but it would be very fun if they won. Oh, of course, I mean, I'm hanging in there, yeah. Bill Buck, look, it's like his eyebrows and his mustache got into a competition. <laughs> <laughs> He's look, it's like his eyebrows uh, and his mustache were competing for thickness, yeah, and attention. Yeah. They were like, no. His eyebrows were like, we're going to be the defining feature, and his mustache was like, no, 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 no. Although, Dude, look not, at that. Although that's not what he's definitely like known for. I don't want to know. No, no, it's nothing bad. Okay, oh, what is it? No, it's, he made one of the biggest blunders in World Series history. Uh-huh. That's not for him. But, uh, oh, well, okay. What I mean, was the blunder? What's up, Card? He had a chance to end the game and win the World Series for the Red Sox in 86, but the ground ball literally went through his legs. And the, yeah, Mets, I... the Mets ended up tying and winning the game. In Game Six, and then the Mets end up winning Game Seven. Um, the Red Sox could have ended their uh, drought of World Series, not having it, but that was part of they call it the Grand Bambino. All right, that's our '83 pack. Thank that's you guys. I felt bad after listening to that. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, he got a lot of criticism and whatnot. Eventually, you know, the city of Boston forgave him, and they moved on. The whole city. Oh, the whole city. Oh. Well, I mean, the, their last World yeah. Series before that was 1918. Oh, gosh. They, they had to wait until 2004. <laughs> they were like, guys, guys, we need to, we need to, we need to tell him it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Half the city. No. We can't. We're like, you're walking around sad. We just have to let you know. Well, I mean, there was a point where Boston didn't. The Celtics didn't win another championship for a while. The Red Sox obviously weren't winning. The Bruins didn't win stuff. The Patriots didn't win their first Super Bowl until 2001. So, I mean, the city had a lot of anger. And it was directed at him. It was directed at him because it was literally the last out. He literally... And it's funny, too, because he was not a good defensive player. He was older. All he had to do was pick up the ground ball and run to first, but he made a bad play on it and literally went through his legs. Maybe his body was telling him something you guys ever watched Meet the Robinsons? Yes, I love Meet the Robinsons. Remember Mike Yehudian who was sitting out, out there and out Yeah, he was the ball it, just mm-hmm. popped him in the head because he couldn't get enough sleep. Exactly. That's him. He was Mike Yehudian. <laughs> Goop. Yep. Uh, I always find it funny in that movie. They're like, who, who's, your, who's the dad? We'll just say Tom Selleck. And then at the end, it's, end up, it's Tom Selleck's voice. There's still 11 spots in the 20th 50, and that's supposed to close at 4. Gotcha. Thank you. Guys, 11 spots left in the 20 at 50. 11 spots left. Um, if someone wants to close it, we only have two minutes left in that promo for a briefcase. Six. There's another. What was the name of that movie we watched, Mark? Something in the Machines. Mitchell and the Machines. Mitchell's versus the Machines. That was good. That was a good movie. Good movie. Hilarious. Very wholesome. Very wholesome. Also, it's Prime Month movie. That's good. Mitchell's versus the Machines. Spot one, Jeff Burrows.
spot two, we have Jamie Allen. Spot three, we have Steve Lubritish. Spot four, we have Jim Clancy. Spot five, we have Dave Engel. Spot six, Larry Gouda. Spot seven, Mark Brohard. Spot eight, we got Randy Johnson. Spot nine, we got Vern Rule. Spot ten, Jack Clark. Spot eleven, Carney Lansford. Spot twelve, Dave Collins. Spot thirteen, Willie Akins. Spot fourteen, we have Dickie Knowles. Last card in the pack, we have Charlie Lee. All right, guys, our promos have come to an, uh, an end. I'm going to give those away, and then uh, Johnny's going to jump on and set up for Layton's Loft. The, uh, the promo that is going to run until 9 p.m., guys, is the closeout promo, but the $10 flash and the briefcase have ended. All right, so let's get the $10 flash. All right, good luck, guys. We have a six. Actually, before we randomize it, this is the list, guys. If anyone was missed, speak now or forever hold your peaches. This is the list I am going to randomize. All right. We rolled the six, guys. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Ryan Steele, Jeremy Stutes, and Ryan Steele. All right, guys, you three are our winners. Copy over here. Boom. All right, so Ryan Steele, you win the exhibit gaggle, brother. Uh, Lily, could you please give Jeremy Stutes a $35 break credit? Mm -hmm. And Ryan Steele getting an after party spot. Congrats, guys. Ryan Steele, you're taking these home, brother. Thirty-five. All right. That's it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. How many close-ups we have today? So far, we've had. Uh, two. Right, two close Um Ryan Steele closed two and Tom O'Connor closed one. Alright, <laughs> in a chat, right? Yep. Okay. I'm glad Ryan Steele enjoyed my brother. Yeah. Uh, you have one. Yeah. I am lucky. I, have, I think it's too small. 
it? It's too small. I ripped it. Wait, is it the same size as? Boom. All right, guys. I'll catch you in a little bit. Boom. Oh, shotgun locker. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. We're going to take a intermission. We're going to get ready for Layton's Loft Show at 430 so go get your popcorn, go get your drinks, uh, get ready for Layton and Soothing Lou in about fit, uh, 20 minutes. I'll probably come back on in 20 minutes. Catch you in a little bit. <laughs>